So now let's do the reverse. Let's convert a PDA into a CFG. And this is a very morose process. I'm going to explain it. I don't expect you to actually uh, know it by heart, um, but I just want to show you just to convince you that um, you can go from you can convert a PDA into a equivalent context-free grammar and vice versa. Okay, so the basic idea is uh, the algorithm takes a PDA and converts it into a simplified PDA, and we're going to understand a bit better what is a simplified PDA. And then what we're going to do is taking that simplified PDA, which is equivalent to the original one, um, we are going to take that simplified PDA and, according to some rules, generate a grammar. According to the edges of the PDA, we're going to generate a grammar. That's basically what we're going to do. Um, as you might imagine, because there's because of the last rule, you will see be why this generates, uh, why, why more precisely, but essentially these two rules actually generate quite a lot of um, productions. You see a lot of, uh, basically a small PDA will generate a huge grammar is what we're, I'm trying to say. So what is a simplified PDA? A simplified PDA has a single accepting state, so that's something we need to make sure um, our code has. Uh, it must always empty the stack before accepting something. Um, so this single accepting state must ensure that you clean, you know, empty the whole stack. So you're going to have a loop where you just read, you just pop all the terminals. Uh, that's how you represent this line. Uh, and then in a simplified PDA is one where all transitions they are in one of two formats. So you're either popping, pushing something or popping something, but you're not skipping both. So you're always changing something in the stack. Uh, what that means is, for instance, if you just skip it, don't touch the stack, how do you encode that in, in um, this fashion? Well, you would push any symbol, it doesn't matter what, and then pop it. So if you push it and pop it, you get nothing. You don't, you leave it unchanged. And that's basically it. So let's see how how we go that um, how we go about it in the next few videos.